a movie. Let's head now this morning to the uh, editorial coordinator and film critic for HollywoodChicago.com. Patrick McDonald is back with us. Hey, Patrick, good morning. Hello. Good morning, Scott. Be safe, be healthy. It's home day, baby. Let's go to the movies. All right, here we go. And let's talk about, uh, you've got a movie you're, you're uh, talking about here today called Civil War. Tell us about that. Yep. Civil War in theaters Friday, April 12th. Well, Scott, it took British-born filmmaker Alex Garland, known for 28 Days Later and Ex Machina, to presuppose in a movie another American Civil War based on the current divide. He slightly keeps the cause or blame for the new war by setting the story through journalists, including photographer Lee Smith, Kirsten Dunst, reporters Joel Wagner Mora, and Sammy Stephen McKinley Anderson, and a just out of college photojournalist Jesse Kaylee Spaney. The foursome take a journey to the hot point of the war in Washington, D.C., and along the way encounter the ramifications of this second war between the states. This is gritty stuff, handled with care by filmmaker Garland, and it's chilling no matter what viewpoint you happen to have. War is death and destruction and waste no matter what causes it, and there is plenty to chew on regarding that premise in this incendiary overview. Kirsten Dunst is solid in the lead role and becomes a symbol of moral certitude in a time of loss. Garland also effectively uses the still images of the photographers, a reminder of how photojournalism has swayed our uh, wartime hearts and minds for years in the profound use of visual cinema. Again, no matter how you feel, this is a cautionary tale of how all that has been built can come tumbling down in the name of power and ideology. Civil War, four and a half out of five. Theaters Friday, April 12th. Wow. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Hypothetical. A British filmmaker. I think by putting it through the journalist's point of view, that's the genius of the film. All right. So. They're four and a half out of five. Almost a perfect score.